Hey guys, welcome back to the MLB The Show 24 Red Sox franchise mode. I think this is how I'm going to start every episode from now on until uh, we break the record. So, 9 wins from tying the record, 10 wins from breaking the record. So, uh, you cannot ask for a much better series than that because we're playing against the White Sox, 50-92. and 92, And arguably, when you look at the standings, they are the worst team in the AL at the moment. So we can't really, I mean, I feel like we're definitely going to get the, um, uh, what do you mean, break, like break the record 100% for sure, but I would rather do it, you know, sooner or later and certainly do not feel complacent about it. That's my model. So today we got Nick Pafetta, potentially our Cy Young for this year. I mean, his strikeout rate is pretty much up there. I believe he started. The season was 79 overall rating, and right now 84. So he is definitely one of the most improved player in the team right now. But in terms of the lineup, again, if I don't have to make changes, I won't. So this is going to be a lineup. Duran will be leading off. And then Carpenter, Devers, J.D. Martinez, C.J. Crone, Garfer, Koki, Yoshida, and Correa. Here is Nick Pafetta on a mound, 29 star for him, 16 and 4 with an ER of a 2.39. And tonight, can he get a strikeout of total 200? He has to strike out at least 10 today. But against a team like Chicago White Sox, could potentially be able to do so. But on the first pitch, popped it up. And Devers makes the catch for the first out. 3 2 to Lopez. And he looks at that one for strike three. Two outs. 0-1. Oh, that's a fly ball. It's a right field. And Carpenter is under it to make the catch. And that is a quick 1-2-3 inning by Nick Pafetta. And we're moving down to the bottom of the first. Brett Keller. I believe he is in the Red Sox system right now. 18 start for him. 3-7. and seven. And with the stunning high 6.18 ERA. And that's a line drive to right. Hard hit. Ooh, the right fielder couldn't quite get there. It's going to roll all the way to the corner. And Duran might be going home. He is going to go home. Where? What is that cutoff? That is absolutely horrible. Inside the park home run by Jaron Duran on the... Was it first pitch? No, on the second pitch. How is this even possible, guys? Dominic Fletcher fudged that play. And then there's no cutoff, man. And instead, Duran takes advantage of that. And just like that, we're taking a one nothing lead. I don't remember the last time I got an inside the park home run. Could be the first of many. And right now, the follow-up after the last play. It's going to be a fly out to left. 0-2 count. Devers hits a ground ball to the other side. Fair for a base hit. How lucky are we in this inning? One of the, one of the luckiest... First inning I ever have an inside the park home run and somehow Devers got jammed but the ball rolls away to the other side of the pitch where the uh, against the ship pretty much so and one out with a man on second 2-1 that's a fly ball to left has to be oh it's gonna be a home run oh my god what an inning JD Martinez turned that one into a home run the fact that I saw Devers went back to the second base, tagged it up. I was like, there's no way it's going to be caught, isn't it? But no, I was wrong. It was hard enough. I mean, the ball was hit hard enough to go out of the ballpark. Well, quite not quite out of the ballpark. It was on top of the monster. It's still on the stands. But, I, you know, this is what you love about JD. The fact that he has the power to turn something like that. And we're taking a 3-0 lead. 3-2 count. And CJ Crone is going to take a full count walk. And Keller is having a hard time right now. Couldn't get an out after Carpenter. 2-2 two, two count to Garfer. And swing and a miss on a change up at the bottom of the zone for the second out. And a ground ball in the first pitch. Back out of play by Montgomery. And the throw is off the line. But CJ Crone is too slow to reach on base. And again, at least the White Sox got a little bit of the luckiness there. 2-2 two, two count to Luis Robert Jr. And swing and miss on Cutter on top of the zone. One out. 0-2 oh, count to Andrew Vaughn. And that's a ground ball to Correa. 
Makes a good throw. Two outs. 1-1 one, one count. And Fletcher has a ground ball. What a pick by Devers. That's an awesome throw. Another 1-2-3 inning. And that's a line drive to left. But this time it was caught by Montgomery. Little do I know he is actually a very tall shortstop. 1-1. One, one. That's a line drive to left center field. Hard hit. It's going to be off the wall. And turning first is Correa. He's going to go to second base. But that's a very good throw. And he is out. As second with a perfect throw from the center fielder. Two outs. And that's a line drive. Oh, what a play. By Montgomery. What a throw as well. And that's a quick 1-2-3 inning to end the second. First pitch swinging. Moncada pops it up. Behind the plate. Garfer makes the catch. One out. And that's a popped up again, and Garfer mask off. Montgomery, you better out, get out of the way. He doesn't, but Garfer still makes the catch. Two outs. 0-2 count to Perez. And swing and a miss, he is down on three pitches. Nine up, nine down by Perfetta. And that's a line drive to left. We're continuing hitting Brett Keller left and right. And this time, Carpenter get himself a base hit. And that's a line drive to right. Oh, what a what a hard hit. And Carpenter's turning. I think Devers better stay at first. I certainly don't want any base runner to get caught out in the middle. But Devers got himself another base hit. Uh, two for two for him. It was a hard hit ball. 110 miles per hour exit velocity. 2-2 two, two count. And JD lined this one to right center field. It's going to roll all the way in front of the bullpen. And that is surely going to be a double. Yes, it is going to be a double. I'm not going to send Devers home for to nothing. Carpenter scores. JD Martinez with a second base hit. An RBI double to extend the lead here to four to nothing. 2 1. Oh, there you go. What a, what a, what a hit. What a hit. Line drive home run to left center field. One of the hardest hit home run you've ever seen. 107 miles per hour, and it literally went out of the ballpark. I don't even know where the ball landed. 421 feet doesn't look like that based on the trajectory of the baseball. But we're taking a 7-0 lead. I think this might be the biggest lead so far within three innings, I think. But I'm sure Brad Keller, that is definitely done for him. There's no way you got to continue. Uh, you know, he's going to continue and pitch. He only recorded, what, six out so far. Look at that. Look at at that it went all over the wall Keller's definitely definitely not very happy with himself and he is done for the day and they have moved um well they've gone to the bullpen right now Chris Flexen coming on 35th game for him 36 game for him 5 and 12 with an ERA of a 6.26 I reckon he is also a starter being demoted to a reliever right now 3-0 count Garfer and he looks at that one. That's a four-pitch walk given up by Chris Flexen to kick things off in this night. 0-2 count. Oh, swing and miss on a circle change right down the middle. And Cole Keith, it's out with the strikeout. One out. 1-1 one, one count to Yoshida. And that's a ground ball. It was a hard hit. But it was a very good turn. Double play. Uh, by first baseman Andrew Fawn. A one. Actually, it's a one. No, 3-6-3. Three, 3 6 1 double play to end the inning. 3 2 count to Andrew Benintendi, and he looks it down for ball four. Ooh, you don't see that very often from Nick Pavetta. He doesn't walk a lot of batters. And even though he might be perfect for the first three innings, and he has walked his first batter of the night. 1 2 count to Lopez. And he looks it down for strike three. He absolutely painted that one at the corner by Pavetta. Four strikeout for him. For the first out. 0 oh, 2 count to Jimenez. And swing and a miss with the sweeping curve at the corner. Back to back strikeout. Fifth strikeout registered by Nick Pavetta. He just needs five more to get that 100. 3 2 count. Payoff. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, umpire. You you gotta you gotta call that a strike, man. It has it it's so inside the zone. I don't understand how he missed that. And instead of a strikeout uh, to end the inning, it becomes a walk. 0-2 count to Fawn. 
And swing and a miss. We strike out the side, but it's a little bit disappointing because I feel like there are so many pitches. Should have been a strike, and the umpire became blind in this inning. And that's a ground ball hard hit to the second baseman for the first out. That's a ground ball softly hit to Andrew Vaughn. Oh, this could be a tight race at first. But Flexen got there just in time. Two outs. 3-2 count to Carpenter. That's a ground ball hard hit. Oh, what a play. By second baseman, a diving catch to end the fourth. 0-2 count to Fletcher. And it popped up again behind the second base back. And Correa moving to his left. He makes the catch. One out. 0-2 count to Moncada. And a ground ball hard hit straight at Correa. And he guns him down at first for the second out. 3-2 count to Montgomery. And swing and miss on a 12-6 curveball to end the inning. And through five innings, Nick Pavetta has yet to give up a hit. But based on that energy level, he is done. 3-2 count to Devers. And that's a ground ball hard hit straight at Andrew Vaughn for the first out. 2-1 count. And JD lined this one to right. It's going to be dropped for a base hit. Oh my god, it's the same freaking thing again. David Fletcher couldn't quite get there. And JD is on to third base. Oh my god, JD Martinez is... Wait. He is a hit or double shy away from uh, from a cycle. Holy crap. Dominic Fletcher should have reflect on that play. Oh, my Lord. Oh, can this be it? Can this be it, ladies and gentlemen? 3-2. And Crone takes a full count walk. It's going to take first base. Second walk allowed by Flexen. One out with men in first and third. 0-2. X swing oh my god it went over I don't agree I thought he held it, held it up just there yep there's no way this umpire has been killing me 1-1 one, one. and oh my god that was poor soft fly ball to left to end the 5th and we left 2 men stranded Bernardino's coming on 54th game for him 3-2 and two, 19 holds with an ER of a 1.53 one two count to Perez. And he got jammed. Fly ball to right. Carpenter. It's under it. Makes the catch. One out. O2 count. And Ben Intendi went down swing on a curveball on the outside. And that's a quick two out. And a oh no. Correa. Good play. There you go. To keep this no hitter alive. What a play by Correa, an off-balance throw to first. 2-2 two, two count. Yoshida popped this one up to Moncada this time. He makes the catch, one out. 1-2 one, count. And Correa looks at that one for strike three. It was a bang-bang call, and I wish the umpire gave us that kind of a pitch as to us. When Nick Pafetta was pitching, 0-2 oh, count. And Duran looks at that one for strike three. I mean, so inconsistent with this umpire. Gary Whitlock coming on 40th game for him. 8-3, and three, 13 holds with an ERA for 1.62. 2 2 count to Jimenez. And that's a ground ball to CJ Crone. I don't want to say this, but we're eight outs away from getting a no-hitter. But we're facing the toughest part of the lineup. 0-2 count to Luis Robert Jr. And swing and miss. He went fishing with that sweeping curve or that slurve at the bottom of the zone. Two outs right now. 1-2 count to Vaughn. And check swing. Did he go? The answer is yes. He went over the plate. And that is a 1-2-3 inning. Six outs away. Eric Fett's going to come on 50th game for him. 5-9 with an ERA for 5.92. The first batter he's going to face is Kerry Carpenter. And a ground ball on the first pitch. That's a good play, good throw by Montgomery for the first out. And ground ball. Oh, for a base hit to the right field. He beats the shift there. And this is a big moment. I know Devers 3 for 4 for him today, but... 
JD. I got to check out the stats a little bit. Where is JD? I mean, I know he's 3 for 3. He got a triple. He got a double. Oh, he just needs a single. He just needs a single to complete a cycle. Can he get it? 1-0. And line drive to left. It's going to be caught. Oh, my God. I thought that was it. Oh, if it was off the wall, that would be perfect. Because that's not going to be a double. Uh, but it's a shame I want JD to get that cycle. You don't see that very often, guys. 2-2. Two, two. And a ground ball hard hit to Moncada. And a force out a second to end the seventh. Josh Winkowski coming on to get the next three outs here. 60 second game for him. 9-0. and 34 holds with an ER of 0.55. 0-2 count to Fletcher. And swing and miss on a fastball inside. Five more outs. 2-2 two, two count to Moncada. And he looks at that one for strike. Three back-to-back -back strike up at Winkowski. Two outs right now with four more outs to go. 0-2 oh, count to Montgomery. And check swing. Did he go? No, he did not. That looks like a swing to me. But 1-2. And he chases that one, strike out the side for that three outs. And Winkowski retired the side with the strike out the side. 3 2 count to Mitch Garfer. And that's a ground ball hard hit. And what a play. Is that Nicky Lopez? Give him the glo go glove. 3 1 count. And that's a fly ball to center. A hanging slur, but it's going to stay in the ballpark. Two outs. 3-2 count. Yoshida, did he go? The answer is yes. Okay, you know what? All the focus. Put that aside. And here we are. Here we go. Three more outs to go. Come on. Caleb Jensen coming on 60 second. I'm very surprised that he doesn't get that animation out of nowhere. Of all the games, this has to be a game where there's no animation whatsoever. He's looking for his 50, uh, 45th save of the season with an ER of 1.7. And I think I'll do this inning uncut. First pitch. It's going to be a ball to the 9 hole hitter. Perez looks at that one for strike one. And strike two. Good pitch. Two seamer. One, two count to Perez. Oh, that was a good pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and miss. Two more. Carlos Perez is down with the strikeout. First strikeout by Kenley Jansen. Right now we're going back to the top of lineup here. Not a good pitch. Oy. That was poor. That was close. 1-1. One, one. Oh, Benintendi fouled this one. He pulls that one. 1-2 one, count to Benintendi. Oh, okay. You see, that's the thing. You know what? Let me shut up for a bit. And now it popped up. The thing is, with left-handed batters, and if you have the arsenal of Jansen, it's really hard to strike up left-handed batters. And he looks at that one for strike three. We're one out away. One out away. Come on. Nicky Lopez causing a lot of trouble for us offensively. And first pitch is going to be a foul. Same pitch again. It's going to be a close one. Oh! No! No! The no-hitter is gone. The no-hitter, it's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Actually, guys, I realized we're not in a safe situation anymore. We just wanted the bullpen to get it going because they are the most solid. And that was it, guys. That was... You don't see that very often. The combined no-hitter would have been. But let's try to get the win here. Oh, God. I am... Def I'm, like, absolutely disappointed. I popped up. To Devers this time. He's going to be right under it. He makes the catch. We won the series. Eight wins away from... Is it eight wins? Yeah, eight wins away from tying the record. 
nine wins to way uh, to to beat the record. But yeah, I'm a little bit bummed out towards the end there. We missed out a lot. We missed out no hitter, just no hitter. We missed out a psycho by JD Martinez, just. It was a hard hit to left field. I thought it was going to be off the wall, but no, it was going to be caught in front of the wall. But definitely for me personally, ah, oh, JD Martinez. Ah, I feel so horrible right now. This is the what could have been that type of game. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.